for part of my schooling growing up in the south of England, I was privileged to attend Plymouth College, a traditional all-boys private school. This is where I used to go to class every day. Looks a bit like a castle, but it's what goes on inside the walls that makes all the difference. The regimented school system itself attempting to mould me into an upstanding member of higher society. It cost my dad a fortune, but as mum always says, you only get what you pay for. Didn't turn out too bad, really. OK, so I'm not a nuclear physicist or a chief engineer yet, but I do feel it's my private schooling that had a lot to do with forming the man I am today. When I look at St Michael's University School in Saanich, it reminds me of my old school days. The 100-year-old main school building looks and feels like part of the set from a Harry Potter movie. But this is real life. A school modelled on a traditional British system of education. The history of the school is from the British system, yes. Uh, I wouldn't call it a British school now. And it's not all boys either. There are girls here. Smart school uniforms, fun assemblies. But the emphasis on this independent school is to prepare students for university. Academic preparation for higher learning, so post-secondary education. Uh, the school has always done that very well. Now there is a junior and middle school on campus, the senior portion of the school having about 600 students, grades 9 to 12. 40% live on site in boarding houses. A number of students actually come here from all over the world, uh, from as far away as Japan and China and the UK. And then we have a day population that's about 60%, so it's quite an interesting mix. And it's not all about academics. There's a strong component of student development, particularly when it comes to sports and the arts. Boy, do I miss the good old days. You might call Brian Christensen the model student. He's actually the head boy. Well, I've been here since kindergarten, so I've been here for my entire schooling life except preschool. It's very nice because everyone knows your name on campus when you're head boy. You can do that. I plan on studying music, actually, uh, somewhere in Canada. I'm not quite sure yet. but. That's one thing that uh, the school's prepared me for, is, is a very strong music program that I have taken full advantage of. There's nowhere else on earth that I would rather be. Along with the head boy is the head girl. Sky Richards, who's friends with everyone, has participated in just about everything on campus. Track and field, the rowing team, and as for theatre, well, she's been on stage with Brian quite a few times. It's really great. Brian's actually one of my best friends, and we've been friends for quite a couple of years. So when we both found out we'd be working together, it was like, oh, it's perfect. So we, we made a pact sort of at the beginning that nothing that we work on should affect our friendship. Working with Sky is, is great. Uh, she's, she's really organized, which I really appreciate because I'm, I'm definitely not. I know that if I miss something, she's going to catch it. There are lots of responsibilities. I think it's mostly just setting that good example and not letting yourself stray from it. Like, you know, there's tons of different things that go on in the school and you have to stand tall and really be kind of like an image for people. <laughs> Sky, who moved to Victoria from Florida in grade nine, has plans to become a scientist. Everything has just been such a great experience that has been able to change me into what I am. There you go. Nice. Now, tuition for St. Michael's might be quite a bit more than the public system. But for some folks, it's an investment in the future. The socioeconomic background is very, very diverse. Uh, we do offer financial support for families who, who can't afford the fees. In Saanich, I'm James Green, your urban specialist. Can be